Ich habe vorhin nicht gekommen. Äh, Minecraft äh, Story Mode war schon die Key, oder? Die Tüte ist das Ituja. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but... It was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. So? Well, I'm proud of it. I will look into the embellishments, though. Yeah, like the part with the magic chicken? Talk about implausible. Uh, that actually happened. Oh, right. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For, uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... To be fair, Jesse did do a lot of stuff. You can't argue with the facts. That is true. I guess. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, you're in turn. Oh. Hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. So, 
Um, what do you need, buddy? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For yeah, that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Ooh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for. Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. I was yeah, really I'm hoping on. to start in on these revisions. Sorry, Jesse. It's just that things are different now. You got your life, we got ours. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> Ugh, so freaking cute. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly tea and tea and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. See you, Jesse. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell you, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! Some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Sorry, I'm probably getting weird with all the compliments again. Just being sappy. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. in the world did that righteous times thought i'd try settling down for a while though like i love danger and daring do as much as the next person but sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk okay mm -hmm. oh man greeting time i want in <laughs> Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first witch. I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, 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 this is going to be so cool. Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business. A blank canvas.
Чего? Отвечает в Египет, отвечает в Египет. Nice tasty bone. Ah, see, he likes you. Huh, yeah. Nice you want them. the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. We'll do. See you guys later. Best pig that ever lived. Miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. Sorry. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh yep, it's me. What are you doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah, talk about knowledgeable casting. It would be an honor to say that the pig was hand-chosen by Jesse for the part. I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic! Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies! Show Jesse your good side. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben-esque. Hmm? You're all adorable. Raised all of them myself. Definitely Esteban. He's got the most intelligent face. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. A, de úgy sincs az ötisek között. De akkor is ő majd ugye az, mint azt mondom, szóri nóccán. And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Of course. I wish we could have helped a couple more people get ready. I mean, founding day is all about how you took down the wither storm and all. I'll uh, 
Keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life, spitting in fate's eye. Yes, uh, that move. That's the one we're doing. <laughs> Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Petra? Huh. I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Petra? Where are you? No! <sighs> Stupid zombie. <sighs> I missed this. <laughs> so? Not so much. that punctual and kicking butt nice hey to you too petra <laughs> hey glad to see you remember how to use your sword i was worried you'd gotten rusty i can't even imagine that life managing people signing Make sure papers so awesome. Ugh. Make it. <laughs> oh come on you can't blame me for thinking that way when was the last time you did this not even wearing good armor and look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Got more deadheads to deal with. <laughs> oh, please. Lost my step yet? Well, you sure showed me. I gotta say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. <laughs> well, just glad you're here. But, uh,. Can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has Boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not we're exactly the same storm, you know? <laughs> Ugh, it's all just so annoying. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. Hello. What was that? Come on, let's race. Wait, what? It's monster hunting time. <laughs> What's up? Good to Ooh, see ya. Perfect. I'm starving. I'm jealous. Ow! Ostova! Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! I'm gonna look this stuff. Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Ah, look down there! So, you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun. Come on! Oh, 
we are boss. We will take it. Not this time. What? <laughs> this you... time. Uh... And Jesse takes the lead. Uh, let's see how long that lasts. Man, you're faster than I remember. <laughs> you were so supposed to lose. Everybody knows I'm faster than you. <laughs> Guess I didn't have anything to worry about after all. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. down a stupid llama? <laughs> it's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like a uh, treasure-sniffing llama. Or, uh, it's important, okay? Fantos. Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be like a thing. Really? How could a llama be important? Because I'm looking, I really am, and I'm just not seeing it. You know what? Forget I said anything at all then. Forget it. Just grab that llama and let's get out of here. Mm. Ugh. Okay, you big, ugly llama thing. Just hold still so we can get this over with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dork, Batsy. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the... Lack of sake. Gross. Come on. Let's get after that armor wrecking thing. Hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Yeah, it's fine. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you. 
Mayor Jesse. I've told you, I'm not the mayor. I'm the leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel, am I right? did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. See, now I just, this is just fun. Falcon. Bye. Prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Destiny or something. I wonder what Prismarine is doing down here. Uh oh. Get off the pyramid. coming from down there. Oh, gross. Well, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We should cover it up. Yeah, agreed. Sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but in here. Not getting out the way we came, though. Oh,
scared of thinking. It's so close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something. <laughs> Ooh, mysterious. <laughs> okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismary, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... That was really bad. I know you're giving me that look you give me when you think I'm crazy, but I swear, I think this guy's our best shot at solving this prismarine problem. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. Check. First, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. Gotta get you home. Fuck. <laughs> Um, Jesse, I'm really kind of in a hurry here. <sighs> you know my sword, gold one with all the enchantments. Miss Butter. Yeah, I, I kind of got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she yeah, Stella, just wanted just... to put it on display for a little while, and now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's okay, uh, then, uh... it's been. Not great. Hoping this is the end of it. So, yeah, that's what's been going on. You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure sniffing llama, or. She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope God, Stella actually gives it back this time. <sighs> All right, fine. Don't worry. We're gonna get this whole mess sorted out. Hope you're right. Then, freshly God. rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and... Get this thing off my hand! those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. She claims the top level are the diamond class apartments, but they're just one block wider. When the sun comes through those spires up there, yeah, well, crazy shadows. <coughs> what? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see stuff. No, uh, I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. <laughs> anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra.
Here, Stella. Yes, that's right. Jesus. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit. What? My darling, you came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? <laughs> There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've hey, never guys. met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do. Oh boy. Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games yes. you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. That's not why we're here, Stella. We have other business. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. And, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Okay. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald. <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Would you stop talking already? Your voice is exhausting me. Sword. I want sword. My sword. Preposterous. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. You wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? No, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh dear, Petra, sweetie. Wait, what? You live here? I, uh... Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I'm still upset about this, Petra. You lied to me. I... Yeah, I deserve that. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sword back. It's I just don't know enough, how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. Uh, but I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. Oh. We'll roll in, fight the bodyguards, snag the sword, get out again. Piece of cake. I like the sound of that. Hey! Can't be in here. I don't know to go to I don't like you. Ha! Not a fan of yours either. <clears throat> we still really need to talk about this, Petra. You really want to discuss it now? Yes, I do. It does seem like weird timing. Shush. Hey, just you. 
I'm trying to have a conversation here. Let's see. This whole champion city thing is kind of a big deal, don't you think? Is it though? So I have a house here. So what? Hey, what's going on out here? Uh, so what? I feel like you're deflecting the issue. Uh, me? No, not you. Yipes. What about not wanting to be tied down? What about your friends? You mean the friends who are never around anymore? What did you say? No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. Come on, Petra, do you really think that's fair? We have lives. I have a whole town depending on me. Uh, no, it wasn't. You might have a point. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. What the game just saw. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge box, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. So weird, right? Just keeping all of this treasure she got from other people. I know one treasure she doesn't get to keep, though. Should be... No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're yeah, sure it was here? <clears throat> so, our rivalry escalates again. You're not my rival, says the person breaking into my treasure room. Classic rival move. You shouldn't be here. Well, you shouldn't be such a jerk. Guess we're all disappointed. Okay, okay, fine. Just take it. Take the stupid sword. I've got better treasure than that anyway. Who needs it? Hope you learned a lesson here, Stella. No one cheats my friends and gets away with it. Yes, I've certainly learned how you deal with people you disagree with. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival! Oh, man. <laughs> So good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Maybe I still ask Maggie. Go, come on, Maggie. What is that? Come on, we need 
to get this thing covered up again. Mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah. I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at yeah, night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. I'm so awkward. Don't take it personally, dude. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Uh... Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? Uh -huh. What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. What if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've, I've heard legends of how great he is. Hey, you're a great adventurer too, Petra. Just play it cool around him. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack, but I'll give it a shot. Good advice. Yeah, well, I'll speak again. Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. Nope. That's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Crags of Doom. It's just like I told you. Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. That's all, man. I just mean, uh, it's all pretty cool. Adventure Emporium. <gasps> I mean, sup? You push the sup? button. Very, very brave. Any space to launch? Hmm. The Ping Zhao people settle land disputes with that kind of eye contact. But I don't think that's what you're doing. of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. Jack. So cool. Do you think you'll start talking like a normal person anytime soon? All in good time. 
So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Whoa! Thank you. Yeah, that's what we're here about. Oh, uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Jack, look at yourself. We know you're lying. Why? Yeah, hustles. Yeah, uh, be straight with us, um, Daddy-o. I... that is, uh, uh... Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters? Yeah. Second and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol? <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. Wow. Yeah, I'll be sure to remember that the next time I see a mysterious prismarine gauntlet. That sass won't fix the pit any faster, you know. That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw yeah, sure. was the symbol of the structure block. Structure block uh, Legend symbol. says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? A Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine. Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no, no problem, guys. This is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine Just maths. Right Nerm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. So, What are you doing with your hands? I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? Move on. I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Okay, so how about you come with us then? You could, I don't know, protect us. Be our guide. No. Vowed I'd never go back there again. Let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... kind of burned it. I, I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Jack, you don't understand. We need that map. And I hear you. I really do. But I swear to you, it's not worth it. Not really. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. <laughs> Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get to that sea temple. That knowledge is my curse. Hmm. Heavy. Hmm. Oh, you have no idea. Wow, that does sound rough, doesn't it, Petra? Yeah, 
It does. Too bad you won't let us help, though. Guess we should just leave. Now, hang on a second. <laughs> Sounds to me like a challenge. And no yeah, one, and I mean no one, challenges the Velvet Tornado. Me. And gets away with it. Yeah? Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block, sea temple. I know, it's amazing. Almost too good to be true. Ah, yes! Oh, by the way, am I doing a good job playing it cool? Uh, think he thinks I'm cool? I know I was a little awkward at first. I'm so awkward. Uh, hello? <laughs> Nerm, I told you, it's not the admins. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, fine. What'd he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nerm here? Wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. <laughs> Easy, so old, Nermy, like... Don't blow a gasket. Uh, Nerm says he's ready to cruise if you guys are. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? You're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Okay, Port geez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on. I need to make a quick pit stop, and I can show you some real armor. <laughs> Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the fire. Radar! Ah, sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? <laughs> I see you brought friends and a new accessory. Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. Gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen. And I have so few details. I am very nervous about this. Radar, I think the town will be fine for one adventure. That's right, I need them. to do this. Okay, if you really say so. Well, um, best of luck. I'll be anxiously awaiting your return. Sure. <laughs> um, goodbye. Hey. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. Knew a guy like that once. So many to-do lists, he starved because he couldn't find the list reminding himself to eat. True story. Sad. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never, uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. A strong, silent walk. Another good step. Nice. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No, no. I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I've got one of those too. <laughs> <laughs> My 
modo che è la carta non si ha no. but I feel like Eligard would be proud of the legacy we've upheld. Now that's more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Aww. Listen, with the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. what I get, I guess. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So, <laughs> where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. blade in hand and drove it right into the head of the Ikthara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Yeah, I love doing that move. It's the best. Oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah. Let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. That's so wild. It's almost it. certain death. We wouldn't have it any other way. What? It sounds awesome. Quit staring at me like that. <laughs> All right. Before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Hmm. Well, hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. Admin, who's the what? <sighs> Supposedly, he's some all powerful ancient person. Uh, Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that a legend, a story. Yeah, it's a superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. So you think it's what? Made up? Hmm. One thing I do know, what you're gonna see in this temple, it'll stay with you. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. The... The sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. We chase the lost thing. Do we... Do we just jump in? Geez, no, not yet. We still have one last thing to do. Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar. Boss, time to suit up and roll out. Ta 
temples that way. How? Compass. Oh, yeah. Uh. Lose your Lose your Lose your sure that we all have our limbs how about we find that structure block hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I forgot they did that okay that's not normal can barely process them as statues they're so big right and what's up with their faces they don't even look you know like people i know i hate them i like the bombs <gasps> i uh i'm gonna need a sec just to check my enchantments yeah make sure they're all there okay well, I'm going to scout ahead. Huh? Oh, what's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing, nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Oh, whoa, it's uh, got me. Like, uh, frozen in place. I'll be all right. Wow, I'm it's a good it. thing you're better at fighting than you are at lying. Because you are a terrible liar. What? I am... Uh, I'm an awesome liar. The deceptive... Uh, deceivers of... Lyar Mountain... Say... Hmm. Uh, fine. Fine. I thought I was ready for this. Guys, hey! I found something! 
Uh, be right there! Hey, uh, let's, uh, just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? I mean, she's cool. Really? Yeah, and she's a great adventurer. I don't want her to think, um, some has been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So, just hush on it. Silence. Yes, perfect. I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. I can go this too. What's keeping you guys? Uh, uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. I know what I'm talking about, Nerm. Pretty, uh, pretty intense, though. Can't tell if that's stoic silence or scared silence. But either works, I guess. <laughs> Intent. Barnes! Lose it all. Guys. Move! Lose it all. Whoa, that was too close. Do you remember any of this, Jack? I... Uh, it's all a blur. It's a test, though. To see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. Sponge is cool. It's like we saw at the entrance. Those are really good at soaking up water. What are those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. Jack, is that a dark prismarine? Or something like it. What are those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. All right. Should be able to use those sponges to soak up the... Yes, the guardians I are in water. Floating in mid-air? That should be impossible. Oh. Well, if I know one thing, it's definitely not the admin. Oh. oh, he won't listen to me anymore. Guys. Hmm. Fine. Well, I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. All right, enough with the admin junk. You said you saw sponges to soak up that stupid floating water, right? Yeah. Right, so we're going to use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take yes, out sorry, the guardians. Right. Dibs on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but uh, someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Wouldn't mind having some backup, whoever is yes, doing the that said. Petra, I know you can do this. Jack and I will grab the sponges. Cool. I'm on it. Okay, everyone. Let's get nuts. Ready. Ready. Then go. Hey, scaleheads! Zap this! Come on, Jack. Fuck up. I'm 
so sorry. Hmm. Oh. Jack! You almost got us killed! You said you were ready! Hey, I thought I was! I... You're right. I failed. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? It's in my club. That was my friend, Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure block's got to be close. I don't see through a block. Dark Prismarine. Not quite the structure block, but seems useful. Hoppá, van, de elfejtettem a megint felékeny vagyok. Enough to provide a crafting table. Sea lantern, nice. Tides! I'm finally free! <laughs> oh, it has... It has been a very, very long time. <laughs> Vars! Jack! <laughs> Wait, this is another one of your adventurer friends? Yes, this is my friend Voss. I thought you were a goner, man. This is unbelievable. Hmm. Wait, how'd you survive down here for so long? Oh, yeah, that's uh, uh, if you sit absolutely still, you'll be amazed at how long a stack of pork chops will last. <laughs> anyway, it's so good to meet you. Now, what are your names? I'm Jesse. This is Petra. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Well, if I'm not mistaken, You've just made it further into this temple than anyone ever before. <laughs> you are truly something special. She has her moments. So, 
Escape time, yes? Time to get out of here and leave? What? In... Yeah, what? Come now, Jesse. You've made it this far. And you're still alive. That's a victory enough. Oh. I'd really like to see the sunshine again. I hope it's as nice as I remember. These traps are nothing to worry about. We can handle it. <sighs> Even I'll admit, it would be nice to finally get some closure on this place. Well, uh, fine. But if you get me killed after all this time, I'm going to be incredibly cross. Ugh, more of those weird statues. Not my feet. At least these ones aren't doing that creepy head thing. Okay, guys. Structure blocks gotta be in here. How do you know? Just a feeling, I guess? <sighs> Creepy. trees until the admin uh, built the mountains sculpted the rivers crafted the trees bunch of superstitious malarkey underground. The structure block. <laughs> Nurm says there's some writing here. Old runes. Huh. The admin's gifts declaring your path. Choose wisely. Oh. That's all I've got. I guess you can only take one. Mm -hmm. Says that's the wall of the builder. That's pure obsidian. Nothing's getting through that, that's for sure. That's that's nice. that's that that's sounds like what we need. Well, it's supposed to be a gift, right? Those freaky soldiers. 
Perhaps they went away? I'm guessing no.
guys. Um, really? What a dangerous world, Jesse. You are so tiny, there is so much distance to cover. Also, you know me. <laughs> I don't think so. How's that feel, you dumb pile of rocks? There! That's where the structure block goes. Slam it down, Jesse! We'll keep the creepers off your back! That's really the end of it? Ah. Well, we Certainly don't. looks that way to me. Then come on. Let's go home, you guys. This is more people than I've seen in a long time. Hey, everyone. Happy Founding Day. <laughs> oh, welcome back. We were worried you'd miss it. Oh, thank goodness you're back. It has been chaos. I knew this would happen if no one was left in charge. There's no schedule. Everyone's running around unorganized. There are animals everywhere. People bouncing on slime. I don't even know if people have permits for half this stuff. I'm just saying it's been crazy. So, did you find what you were searching for? I know there are people out there who doubted me. Thought I had lost it. Hopefully, this reminds everyone why I'm the best. Nothing can stop me! Happy Founding Day, everyone! You're welcome. Other than having half the number of eyes I had when we left, I'd call that a rousing success. Yeah, that part's not the best. Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. Ah, uh, we're not here to pity me. 
It's supposed to be a celebration. Oh, Jack! I, oh, oh <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just coming to get Jack. No, no, you're fine, friend. Boss and I are heading to the shop to start planning our next expedition. You coming, Petra? In a little bit. I'm still hanging with Jesse for now.
Ben, ennyi volt. Ez folytatjuk második fel epizódtal, úgyhogy minket még mindig felmodettünk. Fontos, remélem, hogy így is van. Jó, még nehéz nem is lesz, úgyhogy én nem is tudom, hogy a második fel. Jó, megvágy, ennyi volt.